Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. I am so excited to share this Christmas home tour with you. This is by far my favorite Christmas decorating I've ever done. Um, I did have help, Savannah helped me and our minds just created magic this year. I'm in love with it. If this isn't your style, it's okay. Maybe it'll just get you motivated or inspired. Maybe you see something but you can add a pop of color to it or just do it a little bit different and tweak it. I am gonna be filming like a house to at the end of this video so definitely stay tuned after the home tour and I'm gonna show you how I create these looks so if you're wondering how I put my tree in pots or how I did my garland or stuff like that chances are I'm gonna be answering that at the end of the video so definitely stay for that um, I'm gonna be filming that portion now but the home tour I'm actually gonna film later this evening when it's like dark and cozy I love a good evening Christmas home tour so you're gonna see the lighting go from like bright to dark to light um, but I'm just gonna be filming like crazy today and trying to get you guys inspired and motivated if you're new here or haven't subscribed yet which is a lot of you hit that button down below it's free it just alerts you every time I post a video and I would love to have you here and my community would too I have the best woman here if you guys ever have a question leave it down below I'll answer it and I feel like there's amazing women that can help you out too here um, but let's go ahead and get into this home tour Here we are, we are back to a neutral Christmas. I am so excited. I will say it's not completely dark yet, but it goes from like bright to pitch black. So I know by the time I'm done filming this, it's probably gonna be black outside. So I can show you other clips. But this year is by far my favorite. So it's a very um, organic Christmas with greens. I ended up with a lot more deer. I guess I had a deer theme before. Um, but this year I wanted to add the elements of bows. Sorry, that's my fireplace. <laughs> so they're a little understated, but as I take you around and like when you're here in real life, there are black bows everywhere. So it's a very sophisticated Christmas, I feel like. But it's not like crazy overdone. I still have the trend in without going crazy and spending a ton of money because like I bought bells last year and like I didn't use them this year. This year was um, the bows and I know one year I did like a forest theme, one year I did a deer theme. So I keep it so I can incorporate it. But you never want to spend too much money on like a trendy theme. So I feel like I killed it and you're going to see that as we walk through this space. But everything is on a budget guys like everything is like walmart home goods ross estate sales just stuff i've had this this right here is like my favorite piece it's from big lots <laughs> i walked into big lots grabbed it as fast as i could they had a few different colors if you are seeing this and want it, I would run because there is no way those are gonna last. Um, and then the mantle was huge for me this year. Um, I've been wanting to do a mantle like this for so long. Didn't know how, attempted, couldn't figure it out. If you wanna know how I did this, I filmed it and it's gonna go at the end of this video. Um, but I also wanted to share, I did things like last year, I had the same piece, but it had red berries in it. You guys remember the red theme? <laughs> So glad we're neutral. I just cut all the berries out and then added a bow. So like last year my theme was red and I just adjusted this to be my theme this year so I didn't have to buy anything new. Now I will say I picked up the bows from Target. It was three bucks, so affordable. Um, the deer are Walmart and it's from like my Texas house collection. I love getting to support her when I can. And then over here on this side, this was like a Ross fine last year, but it was glittery. So I spray painted it, spray painted those cause they were black. This is new this year from Walmart. And then I did this last year and loved it so much. I like did a mental note and I'm like, it's happening again this year. Um, these stems are from Kirkland's. I will link as much as I possibly can, but things sell out quickly. So keep that in mind. Oh, but look at this right here. I'm in love with the gold cursive names against the fur and the fire. And then last minute I added some more black bows here and I think it's just like the perfect amount of bows. I don't know guys, I'm in love with the way this space turned out. Thank you. 
Now let's go back this way real fast. This is a little understated over here. Um, I'm gonna be talking about these deers in an upcoming video, but they look like I bought them from a high-end store and they're not, so stay tuned for those. Um, I will say Chase is wanting to add a wreath right here. I just wasn't able to find one in time for this video, but I think we're gonna put one up there with the black bow. And then here in my office, it turned out perfect. This tree actually spins if I want it to, but I have it in a pot, which I'm going to show you how I do that at the end of the video as well. Um, but I love this one. This one I picked up from a garage sale, like when Savannah was itty bitty and it was a like dollar pre-lit, still works. Best find probably of my life. <laughs> So if you're on a budget, it does not stop you. You just have to get creative. It may not be as convenient. You can't just walk into Walmart and buy it. But if you check out like Goodwills and Grot Sells, you're guaranteed to find good deals. Um, I love this tree and I originally put outlets in all the center of our windows so I could put Christmas trees there. But I have this big black frame, which I love during the rest of the year, but it blocks it. <laughs> And I like where the tree is just for filming purposes. Like when you guys see my fashion videos and different things, I feel like this is a perfect setup. And by the way, Pearl came in here, if you guys were wondering when I moved her out of my closet. I feel like it's nice that she's tucked away here in the office. Like when you come in, you don't see her. You just see her like once you're in it. But I think this is a perfect little set. Now moving on to the kitchen. You guys are gonna see a few little updates if you're noticing them. I've already filmed the video, but I'm so busy in November. I don't know when it's gonna go up. It may be the beginning of December, but just know a home update project, something's coming. Um, you're just getting a nice little sneak peek. Um, so I love putting a wreath up there. So last year that had a red bow. I just clipped it off, added the black one didn't have to rebuy a wreath or anything. Um, I've had these guys for a while. I didn't have to paint them, but you could. And then I also picked this up from Target. It's a Christmas card holder. I finally found one I love. Um, so every year what I do is I save cards from the year before. And when I put up Christmas, I look at them and then I trash them that year. But that way I get to like see them twice. Um, so I had cards left over. So as my new ones come in, I'll take these out. But I just wanted to display it so you guys could see what that looked like. I don't know if these still have the prices on them. Oh yeah, $8.99 from Ross. <laughs> like such a good deal. So don't forget to check out like Ross, Home Goods, Target, Walmart, apparently big lots. And then over here I had bought this little guy from Walmart this year. These are the best candles too. Now this is one of my favorite Christmas decor pieces. When Chase and I were first married, we were young, we were in love, and we were broke. And I wanted a nativity scene so bad to decorate with, but we didn't have the money. And we've always loved like going to estate sales and garage sales. We walked into an estate sale and this was $5. It came with the box, like the cutouts, so they like stay in their foam so it doesn't get broke. So we've had this pretty much our entire marriage. So I just, I just love this piece. It's just very sentimental and just what it means. And I was just, it was just a blessing. Like I wanted it and God made a way. Like he gave me my nativity scene and $5 was right on budget. <laughs> so that's nice. Um, so in here there's not a lot cause like we like open space on counters but I feel like it's just enough between the wreath and then the nativity scene. I have the deer there. I have more over here. Um, I have the candle going. So, and I feel like, cause you look into the dining room. So let's go check that space out now. Oh man, let's talk about this space. Can you guys just tell I love it this year? Like it just, it makes me so happy. Okay, let's start on the table. Um, Savannah did this and she killed it. I love this. 
um, like setting she did. She put the garland down here with the candles. And then I had found these bowls and plates at HomeGood. I, I had shared them before if you guys are like caught up on videos, but they're Christmas. And then I had these cloth napkins from last year. And then these bows I'd picked up from Target. They were a four pack for $5. And I just had like four packs and I like used them everywhere. But look how good that looks out on the table. Like it's just that pop of black. It's that bow pop that I wanted to add, but I didn't want to go too crazy. I feel like we balanced it so well. When I say we, it was me and Savannah because she helped me so much. And this mirror, I only had two pieces of garland left and I totally made it work. You could totally keep adding. If I could find more, I may like waterfall this down, but apparently this stuff is hard to find. When I bought it originally, they had tons. So I should have bought more, but apparently it's viral and it sells out. But I wanted to add a bow up here, but all the bows I had from Target were just too small. I'd put it up there and Savvy was like, no, it looks weird. So my tip is think outside the box. So I ordered this bow and it was for a wedding dress off Amazon, super affordable. <laughs> and it's made to like be long cause it's to go down her train. And I just cut it where I needed to. And I feel like it finishes off this space perfectly like I need a big big bow up there and I needed it quick <laughs> so Amazon did not fail me um so yes this space is amazing originally I was gonna put my Christmas tree here it was there last year and it was just too tucked away um but then I got this beautiful tree and I didn't want to move it plus my outlet's here and I hate having a Christmas tree and then cords running so I really think this is perfect because we couldn't really see the Christmas tree anyway. Like if we were laying here on the sofa, we couldn't see it. But we watch more movies and TVs in our movie room, especially our Christmas movies. So it just felt perfect. I'll take you in there here in a second to put our tree in there for the evening time. And see when you come in my house, you still see it right there. Like it used to be in that corner. <laughs> now it's just in that. Going into our bedroom, I didn't do a ton. I could definitely tweak this space right here, but I was just using what I had. Um, so like I said, I can definitely, this will probably be a spot that'll change a lot, but I tried to add the greenery here. This is my cute little um, reindeer from last year that I painted. And then I added a black bow. Do I love it? No. Does it work for now? Yes, but I'm sure this will be an itch eventually. And then in our bedroom, I try not to do a ton. Typically, I just add a tree right here, but I have my new olive tree and I didn't want to mess with it. Um, so I didn't. So I decided to do something different. So I'm going to walk over here. And what I did instead was I added our stockings almost as if this was our mantle. And then I have this perfect little sign it was from Walmart last year it says glory to the newborn king which is what Christmas is all about another very sentimental Christmas this is almost more than the other one are these stocking holders um once again we were young <laughs> we were in love we were married and we had savvy as a baby and I really wanted matching stocking holders but everything came in twos or fours there wasn't like threes and plus they were kind of expensive i got on craigslist at the time and they had this set of three which is the nativity scene and so it's just perfect for my family um, i love getting to use these every year um, and i love laying in bed and having our little stockings in here so my stockings i almost change out every year but then i have pieces like this that stay um, that i absolutely love like this to me is just it's priceless Now I don't decorate like our bathroom or anything like that, but over here I like to do our guest like powder bathroom right here. I don't do a ton. I will probably switch this out for like a Christmas candle when I get one, but I always switch out my greenery so it's more of a winter greenery and that can stay up through the winter time. Like when I take down Christmas, I still leave that up and then I just add like a little nutcracker there. So I don't do anything crazy, but 
just a little touch. And then Savannah decorated this space for me and it turned out really well. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Um, so we added some trees up there. We have this deer from Walmart and then I had found these bells from Home Goods. Um, nice, festive, wintry, love the gold, black and green. It's definitely my favorite. And then in here, I like to do a little bit. Once again, I don't like to go crazy. If I over decorate my house, I get tired of it more quickly and then I start ripping stuff down. Now I will say if you're like that, just remember you can start taking stuff down but leave other stuff up so it feels less heavy. It's your home. So if you're like getting the itch and you're like, you know what, this is stressing me out, take a few pieces down. Like these will probably eventually go down. <laughs> right now it's cute, there's trees, there's a bow on it. But if I feel like there's too much, I can pull that down and just have my cute wreath up um, and not to be bothered by it. So just do what works best for you. Just because you put it up right now doesn't mean it has to stay up until after Christmas. So just do what works for you. And I kind of be hard to see when I come in here because it's such a dark room, but I love having like a fake fire going. Um, the Christmas tree, this is typically where we're watching our Christmas movies. And then I also added some like Christmas trees over here. Um, the other element I added, let me flip on the light just so you guys can see a little bit more. I added like my fur blankets here. So it's almost more like a cozy theater. I kind of debate on this sp space if I want it to be like an all out movie theater or if I just want like a second cozy living room since we just like hang out in here the most. Um, but I love having the tree in here. We had one in here last year and we did kind of like a movie theme tree. If you need something like that, go back and check it out. It was awesome. Um, but this year me and Savannah decided we wanted to keep things simple. We're both like minimal and we love it at first, but she's a lot like me. <laughs> um, it doesn't last long. Like she's even mentioned she's not going to put up a tree in her room this year. Um, so it's perfect. I also wanted to let you guys know, check out the fireplaces on i'm gonna turn this down so i don't get hit with the claim um on youtube if you don't have a especially if you don't have a fireplace it's just a nice cozy vibe but it's nice in bedrooms too and they have christmas well some of them do have christmas music so you can turn it on you hear the fire and typically it actually burns down like it's a video of a real fire um and then you have christmas music on so it's perfect for the space and then we come in here and watch a show so very, very happy with this space too. I kind of want to add cozy blankets for every seat. Um, it'll add up. So I'm waiting for them to like go on sale, but I think it'd be really nice to have just like nice matching cozy blankets. So then maybe it's kind of like half cozy living room. Like I want it, but still like half movie room, kind of like how Chase wants it. Maybe that's like the perfect balance to do. Okay, now we're gonna get to the how-to part of today's video. I mentioned I was gonna show you some how-tos, but I also wanna give you some just tips and tricks of creating the Christmas look no matter what you're doing. Like no matter if you're using color, not using color, if you're all in, just minimal like me, whatever it is, these tips are really helpful. And the first one you can actually use all year round, but they're these candles and they have timers on them. So these are a little bit more, these are like my Pottery Barn ones, but they have them on Amazon too. Too. but what's so nice is they look like a real flame so these are really nice if you have kids they're not gonna burn themselves but they look like real candles they're really pretty when you put them inside something but they're set on a timer so like mine come on every night at five o'clock and then they go off they're kind of different I think most are around like five hours long if I'm correct so then it'll go off 10 I don't have to turn them on and off some have remotes those are nice too if you don't want them on all the time and you can turn them on and then set a timer there for like one hour, three hour, five hours, whatever. But I like not even having to do that. Like when I come by and these are already on, I just feel like it's so pretty. Even if we're not home, it's not a big deal. It's not a real flame. So I feel like these are really perfect creating that mood um, and just like twinkle for the holidays. But once again, this can be a little bit more of a splurge because you can use these all year round. Now let's talk about a few how to with Christmas trees. Now I will say I'm going to show you later on with a 
vanilla Christmas tree, how I put them into pots. I'll go ahead and go over these two as well. But if you have like a really big Christmas tree, I'm going to show you how to do that. But I know with me, the thing that gets me with Christmas trees are the wires. I hate extension cords. I hate wires. I hate cords in general. I cut rugs. I hide them. You guys know here in my office, like just in general, I do not want to see wires. So that can be really hard when it comes to Christmas, especially if you're putting it in corners. I don't know. I wanted to show you just some different options you can buy and I'm going to have everything linked down below. So they have a lot of these different, like depending on what style you need, these outlets that like turn in. This is really good, not just for Christmas trees, but with furniture. And then it's flat up against the wall. So if you have a tight space, maybe you're plugging in a tree behind like a nightstand or behind a piece of furniture, you can use this and then it plugs in on the side. So it's nice and flat. So that's one option. A product I've been sharing and I want to say I was the first one on YouTube. I probably wasn't, but I was one of the first <laughs> were these sleek sockets because I was on a hunt for like how I can push things up. Like if it's behind a sofa or behind a nightstand or whatever it is, and I need to plug something in, or if it's just ugly and you don't want to see it plugged in and you rather see a plate. So this actually plugs into your outlet. It's a nice pretty plate. If it's going to show you can just like run this along your baseboard or if it's behind furniture it doesn't matter. And this comes in different sizes. So if you need a really long cord you can order it. If you need a shorter one say it's going to be like out on a kitchen cabinet with like a coffee maker or something. This is like you can buy it by different sizes. But then it has this so it looks like um, basically just an extension cord, but you plug this into the wall that way, like a sofa can go all the way up against it. Like I said, a sectional, a desk, whatever it is. I feel like these are super helpful, but the main thing that I love using during Christmas time are these smart plugs. And these are all like, um, controlled by an app and you can label them. So I have this one plugged in and I have it as office tree. I have like main tree. You can use this with lamps in your house. This is really nice. If you're going to be on vacation, you can like turn your lamps on and off from your phone. So it looks like your home or maybe you're out late and you have a puppy or a kitty or something at home and you don't want them to be in the dark, but you forgot to turn a light on. You can do it from here. You can also set timers. So like my tree just comes on in the morning when I wake up and it goes off at night. <laughs> um, now like our main tree back in the other room, it just turns on in the evening because we're not really back there during the day, but you can program it however you like. I also have lights behind like the big mirror in my dining room and it's always set on one of these. So it's always has a timer. But once again, what's nice is you can just turn it on and off. You can set a timer. Um, you can label it so you know what you're doing. It is so stinking easy. These are the best gifts too. Like my sister uses these now, my parents, like everyone loves having these and it doesn't have to just be for the holiday, but it's especially nice when you have Christmas trees like all over your house. Now let's talk about how we got this look over here with this deer, which I love. It's one of my favorite pieces. I cannot believe it was from Big Lots. But sitting on my black table, it was still really pretty, but it just looked unfinished. I feel like it was needing something. I tried it grabbing my like round basket, but it wouldn't fit on it. And I don't know, the basket just seemed more like fallish. And so I kept trying to like put um, like stems down. Um, I tried putting garland around it. It was just looking really weird, <laughs> but I had already been to Hobby Lobby and I had all my decor laid out and I had bought these for the first time. Um, and they're like placemats and I was going to put our new Christmas plates on them. But as I was looking at it, I'm like, that's really going to be too much green on my table. Like, cause we have the garland over there and we already have like the olive tree. It was like, it's just going to be too much. And then it clicked. Like I can use these and they lay flat. So this is also the same setup I have over in our kitchen with like the nativity scene. So if you're needing to add a little bit of green, but you don't want to go up or you want it to look like grass or just, I don't know, you're wanting to add the greenery somewhere. This is a really cool way to go. Um, let me see. They're $11 and then you know Hobby Lobby is always like half off. So it's really cheap. And I just layered four right here and I feel like it is perfection with the deer. If this is a weird angle, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get where I can like talk to you and you guys can see this. So this is one of those easy situations where this is just like a pot I got from Home Goods. This is a small enough tree and it's going in deep enough. I literally just take the base of it off and cram it in here. So like 
if I lift this off, there's no base at all. So that's your first bet is just see if it'll fit in it so tight that you don't need to do anything else. Now, if this is your large living room tree, that's not gonna happen. But if it's a small little tree like this, that may be all you have to do. So just kind of keep in mind, is it a lightweight tree? Is it not really big? Does it have a really big base? Like I said, on this one, it's literally just like a pole in there and then the branches have it locked in because when I pushed it in, it made it tight. So that's one option. But when it comes to this tree, this tree's too tall. Like you may be able to get away with it, but chances are you're not gonna have a base that works correctly with it. I was lucky enough on this one, the actual base will fit inside this. So if you have a really wide base, you're not gonna be able to use it, but sometimes you can get the ones, I'll try to pop it up here on the screen. They're a little bit more narrow when you like screw into it, like you put the tree in it and like start screwing it in around the like, you know, branch of it or <laughs> trunk of the tree, like the metal part. Um, those typically will fit in a decent size, like basket or planter or whatever you're using. But if that's not the case, if A doesn't work and B doesn't work, I'm gonna get to C. It's just a little bit later on when I get to that space. Um, but I did wanna show you that if you don't have to get to that, the easiest way is just to see if it fits, then see if the stand fits or if you can get that type of stand so it always fits. And then if not, I'll show you <laughs> the trick that works hands down every time. Now we're gonna talk about the garland. This is something that I've wanted to do for so long. So like either in our houses, we haven't had a fireplace. So our first two houses, we didn't have a fireplace. So obviously I didn't have a mantle. I don't remember what happened in the last one. <laughs> and then last year I attempted and I was like, I cannot do it. So I learned a few tricks along the way because I'm like, this year I'm doing it. If we don't have a tree in here, I'm gonna make sure I have a beautiful mantle. So here's some tips. First off, you're gonna need lots of garland, like one or two things of it is not gonna work. I have four up here and that's because they're really good size. The other thing is it's really flexible and bending and very realistic. It's from Hobby Lobby, I'll link it, but apparently it's viral and it sells out quick. I got it like the end of September. I just saw it and thought, hey, this is pretty and grabbed it. So glad I did. I'm definitely gonna be grabbing more next year because I can't seem to find it. So the trick is make sure it's flexible, it's bendy, you have a lot of it. And then these command hooks are the game changers. So you stick this to the mantle, you put the garland in it and then slide down and it can dangle. So I'm gonna show you some up close clips here in a second of how I did it. But the very first thing I did was just put one up there. And then I have one, another one going a little more this way. And to make this side look fuller, instead of letting it just dangle like that and then it looks way too thin, I brought it back up so that this part's doubled up right there and it looks fuller. So like there's one right here on the front and then there's one in the back that hangs down a little bit longer and then I tucked it up on that side. And then over here, <laughs> so that's two, I have one starting that comes down and goes down the full length. So I have that hooked in there. But then I have one alone that's literally just doubled over right here. See that? It's a full thing. And I have this hook stuck to the side of my mantle and I hook it through there and it's literally just dangling, dangling on the side of my mantle like this, but it helps make it look full. So I'm sure there's all different ways to do this, but for me, that's what worked and it was super easy. These aren't gonna like mess up your mantle or anything. I know a lot of people, and I will say I take this over here and like, cover up that hook so you don't see it like that. I will say a lot of people put um, nails or screws into their mantles. That freaks me out. I mean, I know you use it every year and it's totally fine. For some reason, I'm like, I don't know about that. Maybe it's because we just built and we spent a lot on the mantle, but I'm like, I'm not ready to put holes in it yet that I have to hide later. But that's how I get it, so it's really easy. There's four in there. Just get um, little hooks like this. I'll link them for you. I got mine on Amazon. And then have at least four pieces of like bendable garland in my opinion. Another thing I want to talk about is kind of like DIYing items, maybe from a garage sale, maybe you've already owned it. Maybe it's from a friend, a grandparent, um, whatever. Like I had found this at like Home Goods or Ross last year and I loved it, but it was very glam. It was like a weird color, had a lot of glitter on it. I'm like, that's not my style, but I love the piece. I will just buy spray paint and paint it. I do this 
all throughout the year, but especially for the holidays. So once again, if you're on a budget, you can still make it work. Find those pieces you love. Like if your parents are getting rid of stuff or friends are, say, hey, can I go through it? And see if you like the shape, if you like the shape of it and it can be painted like it's a hard surface. Buy it, paint it, and it changes it so much. Like I love this piece now. Um, the reindeer, I don't think you can see right here. <laughs> Let me move this up. They are the same thing. I think I bought those in black up there and I spray painted them, I think the same day I did those. I don't know, I did a video on it last year if you wanna see how, but I feel like they look so good in here and they weren't like that originally, I just made it work. Okay, sorry about the light, we're in a movie room, so it's kinda hard, <laughs> my camera's like freaking out. Um, but we're gonna talk about the tree and how you put it into a pot or whatever you're wanting to, a planter. Um, it's super easy to do. If you already have the tree and you already have a planter, you're one ahead. If you don't have a planter yet, it can get a little like, Mm, touch and go. So you can look at Lowe's and Home Depot and see if they still have them out. I know like Home Goods and stuff like that typically doesn't because um, they're going into the colder months. Now like Pottery Barn and stuff like that do if you have a bigger budget you can get a nice one and then you can use it all year round. Like you can put olive trees in them, whatever. Um, but I did want to show you how we put it in there. I'm not a fan of um, tree skirts. If you need a tree skirt, like say you're not gonna do that this year, don't forget you can just use blankets. They're really pretty, just get your nice blankets and you can put towels underneath it to make it like build it up and make it look just more grand. Don't just put your tree skirt out, like stuff it with something, newspapers, um, shipping, packaging, old towels, whatever, but keep that in mind. I used to do that in my last house if you wanna watch that video, but I just prefer a cleaner look, which is the pots. So I'm gonna bring Chase in here. We're gonna take this down and then show you how we put it back together. So, so he's gonna pull it out. All we do is get a piece of foam from Hobby Lobby and stick it in there. And this was the same piece we used last year. So we just stuck it right into the same hole again. But if you wanted to redo it, you could just turn it on a different side. Um, or if it's for like a different tree, so it had a different size post, but that's all it is. You just stick it in some foam. Not too bad. No, and then you're gonna stick it into the pot. Now, sometimes it's not gonna be level. So the other thing you can do, I've done in the past, if you can't like just adjust it, sometimes Chase can just like move it around. You can use um, towels in there to secure it. You can use blankets. But typically, if you have a good sized tree, the branches as it hits the pot, it's gonna kind of hold it in. And then you can just see how he's like adjusting that bottom one until it looks level. But if it is leaning for a reason, say it's leaning to the left, just stuff something down in there and you'll never see it through the tree. Yeah. So that's all it is. I get asked about that all the time. I do have a reel on it over on Instagram from last year when we did it in there. I will say it's fitting in this um, pot much better, this planter easier. So if you wanna see one that was a little bit harder, we just were stuffing it with things you can definitely go back and watch that over on Instagram. Okay guys, that is a wrap. I hope today's video was motivating, but I also hope you learned something. I hope these how-tos taught you that on Pinterest or here on YouTube or even on Instagram, you may see this beautiful presentation, but typically it's just being held up by like command strings, duct tape, fishing line, whatever it is. So I hope you just saw, you can just get creative. Definitely think outside the box. That's the best tip I can give you. Anytime I'm decorating, I'm trying to think outside the box. How can I use this piece in a different way than it was intended for? And you will get so creative with it. And I promise you once it's up, you can start tweaking over the rest of the day that it was up. I kept like moving things around, trying to fix it and just kind of adding as I go. That's really the best way to do it or that's what works best for me. So. Thank you so much for being here. Remember there is no wrong or right way to decorate your house, especially during the holiday season. And there's no wrong or right time to decorate. So if you're ready, do it now. If you're not, just play this video again when you are and listen to the music and all the tips and stuff. But I really do appreciate you being here. And I really would appreciate if you'd hit that subscribe button. So many of you are watching every time and you haven't hit subscribe, so hit it. And then I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.